Hey guys, Kenny here, Ken Small Engine Repair. Well, today I did something I didn't think I would ever do. I started turning down work. The past few weeks I've been in the small engine funk, as I call it, where you get home from a 10 hour day of work, my regular work, because I work 10 hours usually each day, and you don't want to do much of anything, especially when it's 100 degrees outside. People, for some reason, maybe it's the heat, I don't know what, but things have been breaking. People have been just dropping stuff off in the driveway saying, tell me when it's ready, yada, yada, yada. Well, week one, week two, week three, it's coming up on three, four weeks for some of this stuff. And I haven't even looked at some of it, okay? A lot of it's weed whackers, chainsaws, things. And are these people going to get along with their lives without them right now? Yeah, probably. But anyway, so I got a couple of calls today from people saying, have you taken a look at it yet? I said, no, it's the weather's starting to cool down. I'll start up again this week. In fact, today, Sunday, I'm starting up again. But a couple of them texted me back. Well, if you can't fix it, I'll bring it somewhere else. Said, okay, go ahead. So then they're like, what? Go ahead. Take it somewhere else. That's fine with me. I mean, every shop that I know in the area is four to six weeks out before they'll even look at it. And most of the time, the stuff that people bring to me is cheap stuff like Poulon, Craftsman, MTD crap. And the dealers aren't even going to work on it. They don't want to work on that stuff. They don't make any money off of it. And it's hard to get parts. So, so far, let's see, three people have contacted me, and I told all three people, come get it. So, one of them has called me back or texted me back saying, well, I, I don't know if anyone else can work on it, so just let me know when it's done. And I'm expecting to get that same result from the other people. But at this point, it's hot, it's summer, you get out of work, and like I said, with the funk going on, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to work on stuff. I just did a camshaft this morning on an engine, and yeah, I'm starting to get stuff going on. But the backlog, I got home, or actually off of live stream yesterday. We're on the small engine live stream, and I see a text message. There's a leaf blower walk behind, and a head trimmer, a pole head trimmer steel sitting in the driveway. I get a text message. Yeah, let me know when it's all done. Now this guy's a friend of mine, so I don't really care because he doesn't really care time wise. But two more things added to the list, and I went through the list this morning. I literally have like 17 things that people want me to fix. And it's like, I just don't feel like doing it after a long day of work and spending my whole weekend doing it too, especially when it's 100 degrees outside. So I'm starting to say no when people bring me stuff that's garbage and I know it's garbage. Can it be fixed? Absolutely. Can you make a few bucks? Absolutely. But you know what? Dealing with the Chinesium and the, the cheap MTD and Poulon and stuff like that. How much are you going to make? You know, is it really worth your time? So I'm starting to say no. And you guys should too. If it's not your primary job, you're not depending on it for survival. It's something you do for fun. Say no. If you don't think you have time for it, especially if you don't think you have time for it, if you know you don't have time for it, say no. Because you know what? I'm starting to say no. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.